Hi, it's Darno with Way Over Recipes. It's time to try a frozen pizza in the Brevo Combi Wave 3 in 1. See if this can do a frozen pizza up right or not. And let's get started right now. All right, here's our pizza for the day. It's the Giorno Chicken Parmesan Italian Favorites. And the way you're supposed to cook it is to heat a conventional oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, but we're going to use the Brevo Combi Wave. And then you put the pizza in there and you cook it for 18 to 22 minutes and in step five they say enjoy and it looks like they put a little picture I don't know if you see it it's like a picture of a salad next to the pizza like to say hey um, we know the pizza is not the most healthful thing in the world so you know why don't you put a salad beside that when you have your pizza slice because you're only gonna have like one slice right <laughs> anyway just kidding there I'm going to basically go ahead and Get the Bravo Combi Wave started up, and inside of the Bravo Combi Wave, I've got the metal trivet. I've also got a 12 inch steel pizza pan, USA steel pizza pan, and I can put a referral link for this pan in the video description if you're interested in this pizza pan. And going to close up now. Now to give you the close in view, I'm going to hit the oven button. I'm going to take the time down, I'm going to take it down to 25 minutes. That's three minutes more than they recommend, but sometimes the combi wave might need a little extra time to do its bake work. I'm going to up the temperature using the bottom dial up to the recommended 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And from here I hit start. And so now it tells me that the oven is preheating, and so we'll let it preheat. All right, it preheated super fast only in just four minutes. I think that pan causes things to, you know, reach the preheat temp a lot quicker. Just four minutes to preheat is uh, pretty good for the combi wave. So I'm gonna close up now and going to hit start. We'll let that go ahead and cook. So there's less than a minute left in the 25 minute run. The pizza looks pretty decent. I think for some of you this would be acceptable. For me, I'm just going to try and add a little bit more time. I'm going to try the a bit more button, which doesn't work until time runs out. So I'm going to up time to, let's see, we can give it a couple more minutes. Okay, so I'll give it a couple more minutes, and I'll probably, you know, I'll maybe stop in a couple minutes, that'll be 27 minutes total, or if I feel it needs a little more, until it gets to where I want it to be, but I'll bring you back. Alright, so this pizza will have cooked for a total of 27 minutes of cooking time, plus that 4 minute 3 heat, just 31 minutes, I mean, Given it's a microwave, convection oven, and air fryer, that's not too bad, given it's a combination type cooker of that magnitude. It's done, and so there you have a look at it there. I'm gonna get it over on the cutting board now. All right, so here's the finished pizza, and I've already sliced it up, and I wanted to basically just show you a slice and show you the bottom. Bottom's kind of soft, it's a bit soft. I mean, it's not, but it's not soggy soft, but it's not real crunchy. You know what I mean? It's done, but not crunchy. So let's do a taste test. Okay, so here's our pizza. Let's do a taste. Okay, so it turned out good. Of course, um, as I said, it's not very well crisped on the bottom. The heat from that oven only comes from the top down. So even though I put that pan in there in advance to try and let that pan heat things up more, still didn't get things, you know, any real crisp on the bottom. It's kind of a softer bottom, but cooked, fully cooked, but just softer. Couldn't just put it on a trivet alone. 
because that trivet is not wide enough to hold the whole pizza. It probably would have sawed down over the trivet. That wouldn't have been good. And I don't think you're supposed to put it on the glass. So basically this is what you get. And so definitely looking forward to your comments. You can find basically other heating instructions, recipes for this cook and others at superwaveovenrecipes.com. You can always come to this YouTube channel by going to waveovenrecipes.com. Come on Twitter and Instagram at waveovenrecipes. Also, the referral links for other cookies in the video description. You pay the same price and help this channel. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Share the video with a friend. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell and good eating.